Hey guys, what is up? Steph here, otherwise known as Exo Gingy, but I'm sure you know that by now. Today I am bringing you a non-equipment, oh yeah, I said it, body weight workout. You're probably like, but Steph, you so totally always promote using weight and weightlifting and blah blah blah. Yeah, I do. But I know some of you out there, you don't have a gym membership, you work out at home, you don't have equipment. So here is a HIIT workout that I made for you at the gym but you can do it anywhere, like at home or outside or wherever. Uh, we've got some legs, we've got some cardio, we've got some abs, we've got it all, and you're gonna do it in a circuit style. So, first of all, you can train like this if you are also weightlifting, and it's good to incorporate body weight exercises, like for example, we're gonna be doing some push-ups, because when you're strengthening your chest, your shoulders, your core, everything, that's where you're going to be able to bust out push-ups. So it's functional. You can do it anywhere. It's, it's going to hit your whole body. And if you repeat it four times, you're going to be sweating like cray, cray, cray. So let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So the first move we have is classic mountain climbers. Make sure your wrists are right under your shoulders and you're keeping a flat back, almost like plank form, but you're running your knees into your chest and you wanna go as fast as you can, working your core and getting lots of um, ab strength and shoulder out of it. Next we have push-ups. Yes, we do in push-ups, ladies. You can always modify these on the knees um, if you need to. Do as many as you can in the full push-up position and then go to your knees if you need to. Hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders, getting nice and low and lifting back up. Super good for strength in your chest and your arms. Moving on to the obliques and more core work here, side plank dip. So you wanna dip down, tap the floor, lift back up, and squeezing your hip on the way up. Make sure your elbow is right under your shoulder for good form and positioning. And in a second here, I'm gonna flip around and show you how to do the modified version from your knees. So here I am flipping around, and here your knees stay together on the floor, and your same thing, lifting your hip up and down. It's all about squeezing and holding for a second at the top and controlling on the way down. You can modify all these moves. Now we're getting into the abs. So what you're gonna do is one leg is straight up, other leg is hovering. You're gonna crunch three times and then switch. This is so awesome for your upper and lower abs because you're st stabilizing your core the entire time. To modify, you can always bend your knees or instead of hovering the bottom leg, you can rest it on the floor if that's what's needed or you can do less crunching or you can simply just hold up instead of crunching three times. Ooh, and uh, yeah. Moving on um, is the dance move. Just kidding, it's not. I was being a fool in the gym. So we've got squats. Three plie wide squats, three regular stance squats, and then we're gonna do three narrow squats, knees together, and you're gonna repeat. So overall, how you're gonna do this sequence, guys, each move, 40 seconds on, rest five to 10 seconds, and repeat the circuit four times for a full body hit session, and you're gonna get, you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna have some fun, and you're gonna do it, and you're gonna love it. So let me know if you like this kind of non-equipment workout video, and I can definitely do more of them in the future.